Um, pride a little bit so um, as you saw in like our last intentions video I went to out to WeHo I went out to WeHo and um, it was really fun I went to dancing I went with some people I didn't really know about it was really awesome and um, yeah it was interesting I went with a couple groups and everything and um it was good, but I want to talk about, sorry, my throat kind of hurts, so like whispering is not feeling the best, but I'll keep doing it. Um, I want to talk about, I don't know if you're queer at all, or if you're, you know, whether you're out or not, if you're even on the spectrum of like, trying to figure out like what you're into is actually romantically, all of that. Um, I find it a little bit hard. Sometimes, I don't know if you ever feel this, but sometimes I feel like I don't fully fit into the LGBTQ community. And it's not because I'm not queer or gay or anything. I, I am. I know I have a place there. But to be honest, it's like sometimes I feel like I have to kind of like act a certain way when I'm, um, you know, out in WeHo, which is, if you don't know what WeHo is, it's in LA. It's like where the gay clubs are. Like, and I had fun, and our intention this week is to, like, dress up and be the people we want to be, and I, I totally I, I agree with that, I think it's about having fun and all that, but I'm trying to, like, work through this, and I don't know if you have any advice, but I'm trying to work through this process of, like, figuring out why I struggle sometimes to feel like I don't belong in those spaces, like, it, I feel like I'm like, I just don't find them very fun, I guess. Like, or I do. Like, I love the idea of, like, liberating and everyone's dressing up and seeing everyone be courageous and, and dressing up and being vulnerable. And I, I love that. And dancing's fun. But, like, to a certain point, it also isn't. Um, it also isn't. Like, I chucked a, some wine. And, and maybe the thing is, like, I'm, I'm not going with people that I, I absolutely, absolutely adore, right? Like, I'm not going to these queer places, um, I'm not going to, like, the clubs with friends that I've just made, like, they're new people, which makes sense, right, and it's always hard, uh, to be in a club, you know, or be somewhere, like, a bar by yourself, right, but that's who I want to become, um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm trying not to, like, overjudge this, because, like, this thought initially came to me, um, when I was driving home, and I wasn't drunk or anything, I was just a little tipsy, um, but I was very safe, I would have Ubered, um, but I, I, I know alcohol is a depressant, so I wasn't, like, really thinking that much about it, but it's just, like, I just, a lot of the time, don't feel gay enough, <laughs> Which sounds so weird and if you're anything like a queer person i don't know if you've ever felt this or even if you're not technically queer if you could just dis dis suspend your, your belief and just like figure like like i don't know if sometimes you don't feel like you're super straight you know like i feel like we're all just kind of like in the middle and you're in the middle and whether you like to admit it or not you probably are 
it's so weird that we're all just one-sided, right? And I just want you to know that you are totally perfect the way you are. And, um, you know, certain spaces are supposed to help bring out certain qualities of you, but you're not supposed to feel comfortable in every space all the time. Um, you're a facet of different things, and I view that about myself too, but it's just like, it feels hard to admit that, you know, um, because... It's not even like a homophobia thing or anything. It's just like, but it's like hard to be like, hey, sometimes I don't like the, I purpose, I personally don't always enjoy the queer communities. Like, um, and, and a lot of times I do and I love what they stand for, but like, I think it's also maybe me getting older. Like, I just, like, it was fun, but like, it's not like, it doesn't like nourish my heart or like make me feel better or it just, it's just like a cool experience. Um, so I don't know what I'm saying, but I guess like I always hoped that it would be more fulfilling and it's, it's not. And um, I don't know about you, but I have on this issue of like trying to really solidify like who I am. Am I gay? Am I bi? Am I queer? And I always hoped that one day I could just be super definitive like straight people are. And um, it still hasn't happened because if I say I'm really gay, like, I'll go to this, these clubs and my libido, I think I just have a low libido, but I was just like, I am not attracted to anyone here. <laughs> like, I don't want to touch anyone. Don't want to kiss anyone. Nothing. Um, and if you know anything about gay culture, and also this is all just my opinions and my perception, so if you're a part of the community and you disagree, like, let's talk about it in the comments, but I think it's really hyper-sexualized and a lot of hooking up and it's all about you know go-go dancers and and it's cool but also like i would love a space where we're queer where we don't take our clothes off where we talk and have fun and dance and like we just i don't know maybe those places exist and maybe they just aren't at the club you know but um yeah that's just something i've been dealing with i've had a lot on my plate i hope that you are doing well but i've been doing a lot i'm currently currently taking a writing class that's some new info i never told you guys yet uh there's these two women that were my teachers at nyu and um they were writers and they were the writer strikes happening if you're new welcome it's a struggle to find work i'm in the entertainment industry but um they basically are doing a pilot writing class and a pilot is like the first episode of a tv series you always pitch pilots for a tv series and um they had theirs actually picked up by the cw network and they filmed it but uh what happens is you'll film the pilot and then the executives will watch it and then they will they film like a lot and then they will only pick a couple of the series and theirs unfortunately didn't go to series but they're still writing and stuff um but it was really cool like yeah so i had that today and that's twice a week and that's over zoom they live in new york and so i'm learning how to write a pilot i'm also finishing flowers my short film we're getting so close to finishing it tomorrow i have uh the doldrums the film i acted in that i was in dallas for uh is I'm doing a screening in LA where I live right now nearby me tomorrow and maybe some people and I will go see it uh, which will be exciting and yeah it's just kind of all on my list I I've been kind of going through it recently um, I think I've been overworking I try and work every day do reads or I do the coffee shop those are my two gigs and that I'm also doing this, which I don't really find it as a job, but, like, I've been trying to think about, like, why I'm feeling so, um, overwhelmed, and it's because I'm doing all three of these things, and I love this channel so much, um, I love it so much, I'm not even getting monetized, like, I'm just, through YouTube stuff, I, I somehow can't get monetized, it's, it's weird, they're, um, having issues identifying me as a real person, but it's kind of nice because um, when you get past a thousand subscribers, you, maybe one day I'll do this, but uh, you have a YouTube app, which I'm sure you've probably seen like other creators go through it. So, and if not, I'll recommend write it down in the comments. I can do a tour of it, but 
it gives you all your analytics for every video and when you become um, monetized um, monetized sorry I'm ordering new reads thing and it's coming oh, see I'm like treating myself today good job Nick um, oh what was I saying oh but yeah was so when you get monetized you get this new category talk, like that says how much money you're making and it's honestly not good for the psyche because you you kind of are like okay then every video I'm gonna do this and so it's been a blessing that I don't have that anymore because I didn't start this channel to do that I started this channel to connect with you guys to have a, a, a home base for all of us to just kind of unwind and you know kind of like a diary of sorts so I can also just share my life with you guys and vice versa it has to feel good so the goal is just to keep making videos it's not really about um, money or anything and I think that's where how it should be and this is reminding me to just live like that so that's the blessing in this disguise um, but yeah I've just been really tired and I'm trying to really force myself to have some alone time some times where i'm just like do whatever you want have fun like just have fun i miss having fun and i promise you if you don't want to have fun soon it will catch up to you and you'll have a breakdown like i did this weekend um that's why i posted on the community tab if you saw where i was like i'm having a hard day that's what that was all about um i'm feeling a little bit better now but it's just you know your mental health is so important and balance is so Please take care of yourself. Please take care of yourself. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be this video. I mean, I hope this was somewhat interesting. If there's anything you want me to elaborate on, tell me in the comments. But um, there will be more videos coming out. And I hope that you are doing lovely. Feel free to check out a ton of my old, older videos. Um, if you haven't already, I bet you there are tons you haven't seen yet. Um, if you want longer, more relaxing, more specific topics, check this out. But, um, yeah, I'm also doing, um, on this channel, an advice, an advice, like, I think every Thursday we're gonna do videos, um, so, like, not really advice, just, like, talking about what you guys are going through. So, this channel's been a lot about, like, what I go through, but I want to connect to you guys, I want to connect to the hive, the bees, you wonderful bees, 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 bees. And um, to share our community, you know, if you have anything you're going through, that you need support, um, any questions that you want us to talk about on here, uh, feel free to DM me. It's in the bio down below. And um, yeah, and uh, it's Nick's Ramble ASMR on my Instagram and also my email. So I hope to see you over there. And um, yeah, have a wonderful night, a wonderful life. And I will see you very, very soon to be so good yourself please and i'm gonna go watch some lottery videos that's why i've been watching youtube like slot machines 